show, and today we're talking to my friend, Dan Santat. Hi, hello. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, all right. It's a pleasure to have you, Dan. Now, Dan, the kids want to know about you, so I'm going to ask some questions. Is that all right? That's perfectly fine, Van. Spectacular. Now, the first one is, where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California, and for mm. those of you who are not bilingual, Los Angeles means the land of unemployed actors. Ah, the land of too many waiters. Right, everyone's a, you know, a barista. That's kind <laughs> of, oh, but they do it part-time. <laughs> and hey, what do you love about living in Los Angeles? Um, what I love is that the weather is always 86 degrees and it never rains, so I can always go outside and ride a bike or something. Now, do you have any pets, Dan? I have many pets. My wife, my wife loves pets and just started turning into the, this insane pet collecting agency. My wife just <laughs> totally like got into it. So now we have, we have three dogs, we have two cats, and we have a bird. And we used to have, we used to have a rabbit, we used to have a hamster and a fish. <laughs> Now, Dan, wh when did you start illustrating? I started illustrating at a really young age. I think I, I, picked up a, I picked up a crayon when I was three years old. And then it moved on to me copying pictures of comic strips that I liked, like Garfield and Calvin and Hobbes and Heathcliff and uh, Peanuts. And so um, it turned into an exercise where I would look at something that I liked, and I just wanted to see if I could copy it. And then as the years went on, I would get better at drawing things, and then I would just slowly improved by copying things that were slightly beyond my abilities. And then by the time I reached maybe 13, 14 years old, I was copying X-Men covers and comic books like Spider-Man and wow. things like that. Absolutely no one encouraged me to do art. <laughs> oh, it's not man. something that parents go, you know what, I hope someday you grow up and be a, an artist. I think most parents, you know, when they hear that, they say, oh, you want to go to art school? That's that's wonderful. My parents wanted me to grow up and be a doctor. I went to a four-year college. I got a degree in microbiology. Oh. And then, like, all my friends, all my friends in college, they looked at my notes and they said, you draw, that's, like, the best human cell I've ever seen. So, like, maybe you should consider applying to art school. Maybe, maybe you would be happier doing something like that because I've seen your grades and you'd be a terrible doctor. So why don't we just <laughs> do the world a service and see if you can get into art school. I heard you just recently won the Caldecott. Is I that did, right? I did. In 2015, I won the Caldecott medal. It was life-changing, it was it's, wonderful. So when you heard the news, as soon as you heard the news, what's the first thing you thought? The first thing that I thought, um, I've, you know, it's funny, because my first thought was I need to work harder. Wow, really? It was crazy. It was like the absolute opposite effect. I thought to myself, you know what? The hard work was what got me here, and I don't want to slack off, so I need to work even harder. And, and it, actually, it actually stressed me out even more, and it took me like a good six, seven months to finally relax and say, you know what, I need to enjoy this. Uh, I've, I've slowed my life down considerably. Like, the most books I've done in a year is 13. Um, wow! I average maybe, I used to average maybe six to eight books a year, and now I'm just trying to go for like two, three. That's the biggest reward that I really could give myself. Just time to just spend with family and and to get into other things outside of art which has got to be difficult because now i would i i read that you spent what four or more years sleeping maybe four hours a night and just illustrating constantly yeah. daily you you made your own brand of coffee to keep yourself awake so you could do this is that right right, right. yeah no the, the coffee thing started because um like you're right I, I used to average four hours of sleep a night uh i have two boys uh 12 and 9. um when the first one was born you know they woke up every two and a half three hours so i never got a, a restful night's sleep because you know the kid would just wake up crying need to be fed and it just threw everything off. And at the time, I had three jobs. I, I was working at a video game company. Um, I was a freelance illustrator for magazines and, and picture books. And then uh, I had a cartoon show on the Disney Channel called The Replacements. Wow, cool. And so I would work at the video game company till 7 p.m. And then I would go from the game company to Disney from like 8 p.m. to midnight. And then I would work on freelance projects from midnight to 3 in the morning. And then I would just go to bed and wake up at 9 and then do it all over again. Um, and then there was this crazy moment. So there's this crazy moment where I'm driving to work one morning and I'm really tired and I tell myself, you know what, I'm just going to close my eyes for a second just to rest my eyes. And so I just close my eyes for a brief moment and I open my eyes and I'm still in my lane. I'm still in traffic, but I had missed my exit. 
uh -oh. by like by like 150, 200 yards, and I realized I can't live like this, or I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. So uh, that was a real big eye opener for me, and so now um, I stopped working at the game company. I stopped working, you know, uh, at Disney, and I just focused on books. And um, now I'm at an age, a nice, a nice age of 42 years old, oh. and. Even if I wanted to stay up past 11, it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So you brought a book. This is your newest book. Is that this right? This is my new book. It's written by Aaron Reynolds, A.A. Ron. This is a book that I wish I'd written. Uh, it only has one word, and, and that word is dude. But, <laughs> but based on how you inflect the words, it has a different meaning. Oh, yeah. So if you and I were to have a conversation about, about coffee, and let's say I drink a cup of coffee, I could say, dude. Dude? And by that, it would mean, oh, that's really delicious. Do you want to try? Let's try to have a conversation, a quick one, just using the word dude. 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 Dude? Dude. 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 Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Dude. So can we see some of the pictures in there? Yeah. In fact, I'll read the opening to you. Oh, please. Dude. Dude. Word by Aaron Reynolds, <laughs> but illustrated by Dan Santos. That's clever. Dude. 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 <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and here's a pelican flying overhead. And the pelican grabs a fish. He says, Dude. <laughs> Dude. He flies off, dude! <laughs> and it poops on the platypus's head. Splat! <laughs> dude! You, you should read the audiobook version of this. I should. I should. <laughs> and then they see a little see a little shark fin and he looks. Dude? Dude! <laughs> That's a little sampling of Dude. dude. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was a wonderful reading. Absolutely fabulous. Yes, yes. Now, 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 Dan, we want to play a game. Yes, let's play this game. And this game, since you're an illustrator, uh -huh. I'm going to challenge you to do a drawing. Okay. But now, since you're good at drawing, and, you, and you're left-handed, is that correct? I'm, uh, yes, I am left-handed, so. I want you to draw a portrait of me. What? With... Your right hand. With my right hand, okay. And you've got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That's it. Let's up the ante, other than the fact that you have to draw with your opposite hand. Okay. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. I have a little tennis, tennis elbow, that's not a lie. I don't know. That's, do you, my, do you play that's tennis? the worst excuse. I don't play tennis, actually. <laughs> I got tennis elbow from grinding coffee, I think. Just, well, isn't, that, isn't that coffee elbow? That's the nerdiest thing I've ever admitted in my life. We're not ambidextrous, but I would question that. That's pretty good. I, you know what? I, I, I tried. A I lot of it. A lot of it is less wrist and more just kind of like the whole arm. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> For your next book, you should do the whole thing right-handed. That is, that is actually a pretty excellent idea. I might <laughs> consider that. All right, I get executive producer credit. Okay, it's a deal. Awesome. Dan, thank you so much for thank coming on so the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's Can a pleasure. Can we do a high five? Yes. Awesome. And we're going to do one last thing before we go. Okay. We're going to look at the camera and say goodbye together. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. Goodbye. Goodbye together. <laughs>